not even touched. So from this camera angle, that looked a bit free. Don, what are you thinking? I thought that was an unforced error by what? Lynn. I thought he he'd be disappointed he missed that ball then. It was a golden opportunity for the golden hand. There, look, that's... He went for a wide angle, a little bit too wide. Now, I don't disagree with you, but just to credit the player who won the point here, Ma Long's ability to put extra spin on the ball and keep it short, it did sit up a bit high, and it was a great opportunity for Lin Gao Yuan, but I think Ma Long makes things look a lot easier than they are. He's so crafty, and here he is with two game points for a 3-0 lead. And that serve, the placement is just perfect. The Dictator up 3-0, to zero, hasn't dropped a game against Ling Gao Yuan. This is a man on a mission, the defending champion, one game away from a semifinal spot. Stay right here, game four coming up right after this. Here we go to start game number four. Ma Long in control still. You know, Don, you and I were talking about the, the dilemmas on that last serve that Ma Long has used very effectively and won him the last game. Again, we're talking about innovations, the way the game's developing, and that backhand return short on the forehand is such a popular technique and effective technique. And I think the way to to play against that is to serve even a little bit wider to the backhand and Ma Long there just put a little bit more side spin. You know in that last replay they showed, the slow-mo replay after the point, if you didn't see Ma Long contact the ball it looked like the point was over for Ling Ga Yuan but scoreboard wise at the start here we know Ma Long won the point. It looked like it was out of reach and still he made a quality shot back. How much wrist was on that, the wrist and racket speed. I mean, we were, this was the dilemma, right? If you move too far in on the forehand to play a backhand, it's tough to get back in position, especially with Ma Long on the other side for the parallel. But Ma Long doesn't have the exact same threat of Ling Gao Yuan. Sometimes, yes, he'll play fearlessly and fast down the line, but not with the consistency of Ma Long. Perfect length here to cause the hesitation. Ma Long second-guessing himself, retracting the attack. See a little bit of regret in his body language there. That, you know, the head nod of, uh, well, I think I got to do better next time. We were talking about the camera angles and everything, and I have to say, I think on this court, the picture we're watching is possibly one of the best pictures I've ever seen. The camera angles, the slow motions. I think we've got 17 cameras down there covering court number one. And I think the picture has been absolutely brilliant throughout the World Championships. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more. It's nice to see the innovations that are being made to give us perspectives of what it's like to be on court, see the real footwork, the speed of the ball, the depth near the tape. Time out here on Ling Gaoyuan's side. Three-point differential, not a bad time for a timeout, although it might be a little bit late. 
down 0-3. I think when you're down 0-2 in a tight game, it's just tough, you know, without a coach in the corner as both players are from China, the same national association. You're focused on playing. You don't have a, a third eye sitting in the corner that's able to objectively jump in and say, you know what, I think you really need right now is just a breath of fresh air. It's inter interesting, isn't it? Watching the Chinese team over the years, it's not that long ago when the players had their own coaches back in Beijing when they're training. And when they play against each other, the coaches will be there. And in recent years, they've made the decision, we'll have coachless corners, we'll leave the players to it. Maybe it's trying to engender more of a team spirit, I'm not sure. But I think you're right, I'd have called a timeout a little bit earlier if I'd have been sat in his corner. The momentum's clearly massively against him. The best way to break the momentum is call the timeout. 5-2 down. Is it too late? Well, that is the question. 2-5 or not 2-5, that is the question. I was wondering when I'd make another Shakespeare reference, Don. Shout out to England. All good stuff. Indeed. Well, we'll see how it affects him. What could he change here? You know, Ma Long, when he's in trouble, turns to the backhand serve. I can't remember seeing Ling Gao Yuan serve from backhand. I've seen reverse pendulum. I've seen shovel, traditional pendulum here. Trying a more backhand-centric game. What are you thinking? It's just relentless, isn't it? It's just... <laughs> That's the word. It, it's tough to imagine that a month ago he was back for the first time after six months of time off and an injury so serious that had people around the world worried and even teammates talking about it like he might not recover. The timeout was too late. <laughs> Ugh. No, yeah, it definitely seems that way at this point. And uh, sitting next to an experienced coach of uh, some very, very successful teams over the years, I would definitely have to concur. Just again, just so much power. Uh, but it's interesting what you say. In my time as the coach, there were no timeouts. So I actually find timeouts fascinating. And oh, wow. I've, I've sort of studied them and watched different coaches when they call them. And it really is psychologically fascinating. But yeah, in my time, no timeouts. I think it's really funny. If you'd replaced the word timeouts with cell phones, that would have been hilarious. But yeah, it still would have worked here. One of the most interesting things for me on that last point was Ma Long, and actually the same is true for me, I think, with cell phones for about half of my life, but that Ma Long had chode after hitting the edge of the table and then apologized after, but that just goes to show you how seriously focused he is right now because he knows he's had an uphill battle. He knows that Lin Gao Yuan is 2-2 two and two with him in the Chinese Super League, or at least in internal tournaments, and that Liang Jinquin is capable, and that he was just recently beaten by Fang Zhendong, but now he has eight match points. So if there were to be an exhibition point, which I don't think we will see, it would have been initiated by Lin Gao Yuan. And the fact that Ma Long came out determined to win that point, it'll be a fight till the finish. Nice change of pace. Actually, that point where he caught the back edge, Ma Long, his opening shot was such a low drive and the next ball that came down on the edge ever so slightly was a very changed arcing shot. So Ma Long is able to break the rhythm. This is something that I think Lin Gao Yuan will be learning over the next year or two of his life. And there it is, the dictator has moved on to the men's singles semifinals. A third title in a row, he's got two more rounds to go, but he's accomplished his feat so far in the task at hand. He has eliminated one of the last three Chinese players and one of two of the last Chinese opponents that he could face, and he will face the other one potentially in the next round if Koki Miwa can't stop Liang Jingquin. Ma Long is back. He took the Qatar Open. He is looking to be as solid as I have seen Don. What more can you say about this man? He's just given us a master class. Power, touch, tactics, movement. The man's a genius. I am Ma Long, and this is my master class.
hand in the air, and we will have an interview in just a moment. Can't wait to hear what he has to say. He's as clever as they come on the table and off. An athlete, a sportsman, and a brain to be studied. A sigh of relief with a 4-0 victory over Ling Gao Yuan. Look at the scoreboard. The first three games were quite tight and a little bit of a comeback in the last, but just too much control from the dictator. Let's hear what he has to say. So congratulations on winning this match against your teammate Lin Gaoyuan. What changed after the timeout in the third set? Because after that you were so determined and then you controlled the whole game and the match. Uh,恭喜你取勝,四比零戰勝了林高遠,特別是第三局的時候你叫了一個暫停,在暫停之後呢,你就非常的勢如破竹,控制了整個的場面,當時是有什麼改變嗎? Uh, yes, because in the very beginning I was leading and then in the third set he came back from uh, 8 to 4 to 8 to 7. So I think it's time to take a break to make myself calm down. And after that I changed my serve with a little bit variety and a different placement. So this is very important to me. So what would you prepare for the next match? Because now you just won your teammate. 对于接下来的比赛有没有什么特别的准备呢？啊，因为下一场比赛还不知道对手是谁，所以说还是希望能够啊好好休息一下。然后因为今天晚上还有双打比赛，所以还是先准备双打吧。So at this moment, I don't know who will be my opponent. So for me, I want to take a relaxation and prepare for the men's doubles in the afternoon. So at the moment, I want to be my best to relax and prepare for the next match. 